Contemplating the end of this miserable year and the dawn of 2021, my thoughts, of course, turned to all the sadness, uncertainty, and misery that descended all at once on so many of us. The Books and Books family, like all of you, experienced illness, financial insecurity, and the fear of what was to come. With a bit of perspective, though, as we cross into the new year, it's so very clear, too, that what we've also witnessed this year is a profound demonstration of resilience, resilience in the face of so much. All of us have had to be strong, flexible, and willing to sacrifice and change. We've had to be introspective, coming to terms with what is most important to each of us. For me and for all the booksellers I work with, your overwhelming support allowed light to pierce a very dark time. Your encouragement, your purchases, your donations, your friendship have been sustaining and informs all that we continue to do. We understand now more than ever the remarkable community that has grown around Books and Books for what is now almost 40 years. You kept us going when we had to close down. You bought books from our online store. You brought t-shirts from us. You donated to us. You attended our events when they moved into the virtual world. You came back to our stores and cafe when we safely reopened. The power of what we do as a bookstore was reaffirmed over and over. And I'm hopeful that even with a tough time ahead, 2021 will ultimately see Books and Books as a stronger community asset. We have some exciting new projects in the works. We will continue to serve in the ways you've come to expect. With a full schedule of online events coming up, we will fill our stores with books and books of all kinds. We will bring authors to schools and continue our mission to help create the next generation of readers. And we will be there for you as you've been here for us. We have thanked you so many times this year in our emails and in our hearts. But what I've come to learn is that thanking those who mean so much can never be too much. I thank my colleagues at Books and Books for being on the front line. I thank our writing community and our publishing community for bringing us so many thoughtful and artful books. And I once again thank all of you and hope that this new year brings more joy than sadness and that we continue to face the struggles ahead with the renewed sense of community that we rediscovered this year. And of course, I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon.